Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how you can install VSD plugins inside LMMS DAW. Uh, apparently some of you are having problem installing VSD plugins inside LMMS. Today we are gonna fix that. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is uh, click on this little icon okay in here this little icon and then scroll down till you find this uh, settings it says Vstage okay just drag and drop in here inside your playlist song editor to be more accurate so you click in here and then you're gonna have to get the folder that you have installed VSC plugin in my case I have uh, made a folder in here inside C drive and then in program files 32 bit folder I have created a folder and I've installed all the plugins in here okay so you have to make sure you have installed uh, you know where you have installed your plugins after that uh, we're gonna have to locate that okay we're gonna click on this little folder icon and here you can open that folder click on the DLL file and click on open and it will open the plugin okay uh, let me show you that this thing actually work now let me close this and if you go in here and then let's go to the piano roll you can even change the presets by the way this is a free VST plugin uh, that you're gonna find out this is an amazing free piano VST plugins for making dark melodies and sweetest this is my favorite piano sound ever like it is like epic just listen okay so if you're interested I will put the link to it in the top right now or in the description so you can get it it's absolutely free so you should check it out you can do everything that FVST could okay you can play with the knobs and settings and everything now one thing you should keep in mind that I think currently they don't support any plugins that doesn't have a DLL on it for example uh, like this it has no DLL even it support only XTT which is uh, you apparently you can't so I think that's bad news but yeah it's gonna support every DAW which uh, has DLL file in the folder okay otherwise it's not gonna work it's not gonna support so keep in mind okay it's only gonna support the uh, plugins that have DLL file in the folder itself okay otherwise it's not gonna support so yeah guys I really hope this video helps and I will see in the next video please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and peace I'm out